okay tell us about it okay and here we are back outside again going down the trails i have mowed in the pasture here that are not very mowed right now but they'll still suffice you might hear to the what i call the pine forest that's not it that's a pecan tree right there the pine forest is ahead oak to the right got yeah, sort of a trail running through here you know, they used to be able to see the tower better but it, all these pine trees just shot up in the last few years made it all myself out of a you know just Doting materials and a whole bunch of conduit. You know, here. Officially, the welder stance is that you can't make anything out of conduit except run wires through it, but if you brace it right and use it properly, it's very, very strong. Like I say, with our friend, the triangle. I right, see over here, it looks sort of like a water tower leg. But, um, what I did right here, yeah, completely unmovable. I backed the truck up to it one time and pushed as hard as it would go there. And, Barely see the little bitty dent I put in right here and just curved in that piece about maybe a quarter inch. That's how strong it is. Got a concrete foundation in there. And this this uh, tower here is made all with donated materials from the place I used to work. They uh, make signs and uh, you know, the plastic face there. You can only use these, uh, these uh, pieces of plywood once and they make a die for the plastic to be melted onto. So I got to keep them for the taking. And up in here, you got your front door to the room. Got a my groovy pad. You know I mean? Probably don't want to go in there though, it's all smelly and stuff there because I couldn't seal it up properly. But this here is the tower proper. It's 30 feet and 3 8 inches tall to the top of the handrails. Got 500 pounds of concrete here on the bottom. This thing was completed on July 20th of 2001. Because I got that cast in the concrete so I can remember the date. Okay. And then I just climb on up there. It originally was just 20 feet tall. Then that wasn't tall enough, so I stuck this extra 10 foot section here on the bottom. First time I ever climbed the 20 foot part, I was you know shaking like a leaf. And then I could just zip right up it and sit up top here. And then I, where it raised it to 30 feet, now I can just zip right up here and sit up top. I'm not going to sit now because that seat's pretty nasty, but you get the idea. Way on up here, you can see quite a ways. Got a little box up here, gun hooks, CB antenna holder and rack. Clear. Okay, and here we are in the tower rooms, I call it. It's uh, 10 feet wide, 8 feet long. It's got two windows here, a couple of shelves. Got a little 12 volt RV light that hangs up right there. You hook a battery down below and that switches on. But, uh, took me a solid week to build this. It was a uh, week of July 4th, so I got a whole week off of work. And uh, the beams up here, they're rough sawn, you know, two by fours. That means they're really two inches by four inches in solid oak. Got them bolted down to the top plates there, diagonal supports here. Uh, free plywood, you know, they're with a, you know, got all that for nothing. Pretty good for that too. And then uh, just bolted the thing on there. Probably should have given it more slope. It kind of leaked in here, but hey, it's a tree, you know, it's going to move. Uh, got the window here, you can use the they all see a little bit better, but the, those pine trees have grown amazingly fast in the last four years. Yeah. You know, like I say, leave nature intact. You got the, wind, the branch going right out the, out the wall there. A couple of shells and 10 feet off the ground, so there ain't nothing, no how, no way gonna get in this fortress. Yeah. It was made right, or as right as I could make it, anyways. That's the sniper window. See anybody coming up the trail there? And watch your head. Yeah. Doors made a solid, well, two inch lumber there. All bolted together on the back and it's screwed in nice and heavy. Got a little door latch there. Drags a little on the floor here, but that doesn't matter. You just give it a good kick and it comes open. 